back to the hockey shop, Source for Sports, or as we like to call it, Holy Utopia, because you have to die to go to heaven and you don't have to die to come here. And as you can see, surrounded by all this goalie goodness, as well as Cam Matwiv, uh, you've heard the voice on the In Goal Radio podcast. Uh, we are simulcasting today, so you're going to hear the voice on the In Goal Radio podcast, but you're also going to get to see the video. We've been promising that for a couple of weeks. We were playing around behind the scenes with all the camera angles. I think we've got it figured out. We're going to make Cam actually wear, wear the gear now as he talks about it. So Cam, today, ultrasonic, new chest and arms, some unique new features uh, in terms of the arms. Walk me through this chest protector, what's new, what's different, what works, uh, and what the feedback has been from customers. Yeah, so obviously all new for uh, 2020, Bauer's ultrasonic unit, which I'm currently wearing. Um, one of the things to call out right away, because it's probably a focal point for the chest, will be the arms themselves in particular. Um, Bauer's uh, gone away from what we consider a traditional arm and kind of push the envelope forward a little bit more there's but, there's no distinct elbow ca elbow floater cap oh yeah whatever way you want to kind of word it it's now more of like a sleeve if anything um a design that's you know you can see elements of other chests that are on the wall in particular probably calling out the warrior in particular um just for some of the similarities but the arms are quite a bit different um, well the, it, it compares to the warrior in my mind in that they've gone a completely different direction from a traditional elbow floater. Correct, correct. Yeah, you, you see it more of like a hinge design. So when you get in closer, tight to the chest a little bit more, you can see how the entire actual, what we'll call the bicep plate, shifts up when you flex the arm. What this does is create the chest great mobility right out of the box, especially um, while wearing it currently right now. Like I can have freedom to move around. I don't feel like I'm being hindered with a lot of the chest that kind of bulk up, especially in the arms. Um, it's very easy, mobile, right out of the box. So if I were to go over here, and we'll just, you know, because you didn't bring your own coffee. Or yours for the day? Yeah, so if I hand you a cup of coffee, yeah, there's probably some in there, careful. No, no problem, just, yeah. the, just the grinds. Just the grinds for you. <laughs> but, you but no problem, like, yeah, like it, this is something that we can sit casually and have a conversation, and you're gonna get a little hotter than I am sitting here, but. Yes, yes, wearing a sweater was a, was a poor mistake on my part, but that said, I, I feel, easy i feel move i feel relaxed it's comfortable um and you know if there were pucks i feel protected uh one of the biggest things that they have done they've included still their curve x composite inside the arms they're still providing that great protection um curve x composite slow down say it again curve composite curve x is uh, ex that is not quite the proper pronounce okay so they put the curve composite correct in in the arm pieces so you maintain the mobility and you're adding with the curve composite what a layer of protection impact yes. absorption impact absorption and also that protection but maintaining a light weight for the chest itself okay one thing we saw when the warrior was introduced was fitting the arms became very important because of the mechanical arms uh is it similar here like when you're fitting people in this is it any different than you would fit another chest protector are the arms a priority over say, the, the chest piece itself? A, a little bit, but the nice thing that Bauer's done, they've added that ease, um, especially in terms of for fitting in store. So what Bauer's done is that they've actually added a drawstring attachment um, on the upper shoulder piece in particular. So you can adjust the where, how the arm, the it length. This is about two inches of leeway to bring it up or down, for example. Um, easy adjustment, you're just pulling the drawstring, set it, and forget it, basically. Okay. Um, the focal point is the arms just because they're so different. What about, what are some of the other elements of this chest protector that say somebody who is coming from the 2S Pro model uh, might notice similarities and difference? Yeah, we don't want to gloss over, you know, and miss some of the other key features that this chest has added. It's still taking that same supreme body shape. The shape is there, yes. yeah. Yeah, which is familiar, which is going to be great for those guys coming out of some of those older supreme chests. But again, they've added a lot of improved features for it. Um, starting from the bottom and working our way up in particular, the spender clips. So these bungee straps right here can clip right into your pants. So those bungee, it's a couple of bungee clips that are fixed just below the bottom of the shoulder floater wing, and right. that will actually attach right into your pants. So yeah, you can ditch the suspenders completely and just actually put these right into the suspender, suspender clips on your pants already, and you're good, you're set. Um, actually, and multiple adjustment pieces for where you actually want to lace in your chest too. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's in terms yeah, of the tie down, there's four different places you can put it. Now, like that upper one, there's an upper one just below the chest plate. 
Uh, is anybody wearing their pants that high? Like, I mean, you're kind of like, I'm thinking somebody maybe in their 80s or 90s still playing goal. You know, we tend to like to hike our pants up as you get old like me. Yeah, if you want to have them up by your, you know, armpits, but that's that's your call. Probably your style, Probably I would think, yeah. <laughs> What are some of the other features? Adjustability, I noticed on the back as well. That Yeah, exactly. Same adjustability, but actually continuing moving up the heart plate in particular, or chest plate, we'll call it. Um, the integration of their pour-on foam, their impact absorbing foam, which we have called out in a couple of their other pieces of equipment, most recently the mask. Um, great for especially those body shots, helping to absorb and not having that impact transfer all the way through into your body. Um, solid shoulder floaters themselves. This features their shock light slash curve material. Again, form of composite to, to allow that rigidity and also uh, level of protection. Um, as you called out on the back, we've got three adjustments in terms of for how the back clips up um, in particular. Um, ease of getting, you know, your tight fit. Uh, I have the chest fairly snugged up right now, but it doesn't feel like it's choking me off anywhere or anything like that. As we said before we started filming, as I helped him clip it up, it might be time to mix in a salad for Cam, but uh, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> <laughs> that said, one last feature that uh, I really like, and it's become a bit of a theme on the wall, suspenders. You can actually, again, so saying you don't use the bungees at the top, but you're still looking for a place to pop your suspenders. On the shoulder floaters themselves, there's two adjustment areas where they're held on by Velcro. Basically, you can hold your suspenders down, attached to the shoulder floaters in particular. If you have a quick look, you can see it there. They un unzip, put your suspenders on, pop it back on, centers the suspenders on top of those shoulder floaters to help keep the chest down and square for you. A couple of bungee clips up over the shoulder floaters. Is that similarly designed for, like, what's the thought process there? So, Besides being really good for holding a microphone. Yes, yes, it also works great for this current application. But uh, that said, depending on how your look and presentation you're looking for in the net, some guys really like their chest pulled down a bit more so they can still have that ease and mobility turning their head. Um, that will help to aid in that. Personally speaking, I like to put my chest close or my suspenders closer to the neckline. That way I don't lose any of that added coverage. But again, this is one of those personal preference areas. And some guys do like those shoulder floaters pulled down a little bit more, and that gives you that option. On the back, you've got a couple different Velcro adjustments in terms of again the shoulder floaters and and how you want them to fit in terms of width, how you want them to be pulled up or or and let body height in particular. Yep. So a lot of adjustability in this unit. It's a chance I would imagine for if you've got a young goaltender who's still growing, probably some opportunities there, especially with the arm, the arm length adjustments, um, to have this unit grow with them a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Something that's definitely not as often found in pro units. They usually fit how they fit right out of the box, but this does offer that level of adjustment to you know, ideally grow into it a little bit more. Okay, what's well, been the feedback so far? Um, you're, you're ahead of us, ahead of the curve on us on this one. We haven't actually had a chance, pandemic and all, to get it out on the ice ourselves here at Ingle. So we're leaning heavily on you, what you've heard back from your customers. What's, uh, what's been, what do people like? Yeah, initial feedback's been uh, good. Again, the mobility uh, right out of the box has been cited, the ease of movement in the arms in particular. Um, the body unit itself being comfortable yet protective. Um, all quick common feedbacks that we've gotten. Um, Beyond that, again, it's still kind of early on for, for uh, like the whole review in particular. But that said, I mean, it's, so far it's been very positive. Okay, perfect. Cam, thank you very much for joining us uh, for this segment of the Ingle Radio Podcast Gear segment. Uh, where can people get you if they need, they got questions about fit, they got questions about sizing, they got questions about what pants these are going to work best with. Uh, where can they get a hold of you if they've got more questions? You can reach me on the phone at 604-589-8299. Make sure you check them out online as well, the Hockey Shop, hockeyshop.com, Hockey Shop Source for Sports here in Surrey, BC. I've got a few pucks here. Uh, for those of you that are sticking around uh, for the video segment, we might have a little test on just uh, how fast Cam moves and uh, how well these things absorb. We also might test my arm. We got a cup on? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <a> leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs>